So I wanted to make a quick video on some lofting techniques inside of plasticity. So I'm going to make maybe a basic joystick shape. And let's see, in fact, I want to select the control point curve because that will allow me to have a little bit more control over the shape. So uh, this is not going to be perfect, but just want to get kind of the basic idea. And I'll probably have to uh, change this in just a second because that looks terrible. But uh, let's see, something, something like this. That looks pretty good. And, and by pretty good, meaning we've got to change this. Now, in a second I'll explain, you have to really be careful about lofting because especially with the guide curves, because at least right now, as of plastic, plasticity one, there's not a whole lot of that you can do if you have breaks in the curve. And I'm gonna explain that in just a second. So let me adjust this. This is supposed to be some kind of, maybe some area, we might have a trigger up here. And so this is sort of a little bump or separation between the index finger and the rest of the fingers. With that, let's create another one on this side. And we're gonna do something much simpler for this video. And maybe even something, something like this, okay. Now, let's say we want these two points to be the same level. Well, we can use a couple different tricks. I'm going to scale them along the Z axis and say, okay, so now they're even. And I'm going to use a two point circle. Actually, before I do that, let me show you what happens or what doesn't happen if let's say, for example, we used a, a curve like this, and I'm gonna hide this one. So let's say we had two curves here. This is technically, one way to think about this is two curves. We have this main uh, endpoint, control point. I'm not exactly sure what plasticity calls these, but this is not going to work. And so let me show you once we create some circles, I'm going to use the two point circle and click these two points. I have object snaps enabled. Let me undo that because we need to rotate it. For confirming, we want to press V and then click, and then that's going to confirm this for us. And I'm going to scale along the y-axis and then same up here use a two-point circle and before confirming press v and that basically flips it sideways and i might even let's see if we get a little bit more control and do the same thing here this may not work but i'm going to try it so we might grab all of these and loft and we might use shift and create a guide curve here. And if we try to use this one, it's not gonna work because there's that break. And so anytime you have this kind of break in the curve, or let's say if you have maybe one curve here and then a separate curve here and you join them together, let's, let's say we, we grab those and press J and join them together. Well, it looks like one curve, but we can see this, this point here is showing that because that's larger than all these other small points. This, this point here is larger than all the small points. That's not gonna work. If we loft this again, press L to loft, and I'm gonna grab this curve. It's, it's immediately going to cause the loft to fail. So I'm gonna delete that, unhide this curve here, and grab all of these curves, press L, use shift, and then Oops, it looks, it looks like, okay, what we, uh, this is a good uh, learning exercise. So this circle is going past this curve because we used a different curve to make it. So I'm gonna delete that, whoop, just this one. And let's try this again, press V, and that changes that once more. Use L, use Shift to 
select that curve and then finally this curve and that's not exactly what we want the mistake I made was that these are circles and we want them to be a little bit more flat so let's uh, fix this once more I'm gonna grab both of these and scale along the y-axis something like that and finally we should be able to get a shape that we want it's important to note that sometimes we're going to make mistakes and so it's important to identify them and to fix them so that's much better and of course there's other things we could do with the shape to make it uh you know just different there's, there's different ways we can control it but this gives us a basic joystick shape so that's pretty much it for this video i know not super complicated but uh, I hope this helped you learn basically how to avoid some common pitfalls. Also, again, be sure that your curves line up with your uh, edges. I'm sorry, the basically the loft here is lining up with your guide curves. And then you'll be able to complete the loft. Otherwise, you'll have it fail and it'll be confusing. So. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for that. And just to wrap this up, I'm gonna grab both of, well, all of these points and patch that. And then same here on the bottom and patch that as well. And of course, now we have a solid. We can start doing things like, like uh, fillets and that kind of thing. Um, so then we can start adding extra detail to this as well. So that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking this video, sharing this video with friends, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.